Hello everybody, today I'm going to be adding DLSS support to the Aldernari Wabajack mod list. Sorry I'm going to make this short and sweet today because I've been kind of pressed for time recently, but let's get started. First things first, add the ENB uh, test build off PureDox Patreon to the mod list. Now this is a giant mod list, so doing almost everything takes a good amount of time on it. A little bit longer than normal, so don't, don't be surprised. Or worried next just open it up in Explorer and change it to DLSS and save and enable it then go ahead and X out of your MO2 then you're gonna want to download a standalone version of Beth I and I and add it into your tools and then make sure your MO2 is closed and set it up properly over here then turn off anti-aliasing and v-sync and go to detail and turn off depth of field recommended tweaks and save and exit after that uh, if you go and launch the mo2 and launch the game the game will crash for some reason so what you'll need to do is click the link in the description uh, to the mega link and it'll get, uh, download two little uh, reshade files that help it not crash the desktop I'm not for sure why it does that but it does so then just go to your stock game and press paste. I already have it, but I'm just gonna. Yeah, there we go. And open MO2 again. And like I said, big list, so everything takes a little long compared to normal lists, even just opening the MO2. Then go ahead and click run it, and it'll launch the game. Now, like I said, it'll take a little bit of time to get it to actually launch. That's completely normal. As long as you get to the main menu screen, that's how you know it worked. It took a while, but the main menu will load up. It took around five minutes, so don't be alarmed. As long as it does not crash the desktop the first time it launches, that means it's working. It takes a long time to launch anyway, so do not be alarmed. As, like I said, as long as it does not crash the desktop, then it should be working. But to double check, as soon as the main menu opens, I'm gonna open the upscaler menu. Alrighty, now that it's in the menu, just press end, and as you can see, the upscale menu is there. Now I'm just going to load into the game. I already have a save outside to see that boost in FPS. I believe I was running around 27 FPS. I did record some gameplay I'll put up now. So that you can see the boost. All right, now as you can see as I'm loading in, I'm already getting in the 40s FPS, which is more than I was getting before for sure. Now when you launch in, you do have to give it a second to let the animations all load in. That's why my character is T-posing right now. So, I never got the character to stop T-posing because I think I needed to create a new save. But I didn't feel like doing that because I'm la lazy, so I'm just going to wrap this video up. Uh, I hope that helped anyone who was watching this. Uh, please drop a like if it did and subscribe. And comment down below if there's any other content you'd like to see me do. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.